Hello fellas, we got uh, no rest for the wicked this morning. We, <laughs> we got uh, a good neighbor of mine uh, named Dan and his boy Colton has helped me split firewood in previous videos uh, last summer and last fall. So they're, uh, those videos were quite a while ago. But he called me and he wants some gravel for his driveway. Uh, and I can haul about five or six ton in my dump trailer. And uh, so I said, okay. And then he talked to his neighbor and that guy wants two loads of gravel. Uh, so that'll give us something to do today. Uh, but in the meantime, we've been tearing out a load barren wall in my kitchen uh, to try and improve our house. And so we've got all that material in the dump trailer that we got to get rid of before we can haul gravel. And so we're up early this morning and we got the baby baby surviving country life and the wife uh, loaded and packed into the pickup and we got to go to the uh, local landfill and unload this trailer and then get three loads of gravel and uh, see if we can haul, haul them for these people and I'm going to see if I can bring you guys along with me. Thanks for watching and uh, if you're like me grab your coffee. Uh, <laughs> at least I got coffee this morning trying to get me woke up and uh, let's go go to the landfill and haul some gravel. Thanks for watching. We got some new tires on the old log truck here. So we better, we gotta go to work to pay for them. just about ready to turn into the landfill here and I've learned that you got to turn wide uh, and favor this gate on the east side because their uh, scale is so narrow that you'll almost rub the wheels on your duels uh, or your trailer if you don't get squared up to it real good and I'll show you this place but this is uh, they're not actually putting it in the ground here because of the EPA rules or whatever it is this is a uh, just kind of like basically uh, like an unloading facility where you unload here and then they load uh, semis with that material that you're unloading and they ship it over to Nebraska to the landfill but let me let me show you what it looks like and what it looks like pulling in here
Well, this is where we're going to get the gravel, folks. We got to go in here and tell them what we want and how much. This is where we, uh, they're dumping the gravel into the dump trailer with the chute here. It's gonna, it's gonna come out of that chute up there. A lot of stuff going on back here. There's a guy uh, doing some exciting stuff there. He got, just got done loading his concrete truck. like a whole lot when you get it in the dump trailer but I believe that's five and a half ton. Oh I was wrong we got more coming but he had me back up a little bit because we filled too much in one spot it will roll out over the side of the dump trailer. There he did that's a good operator this guy he got me to back up a little more so we ain't gonna make a mess. Too bad anyway, hopefully. Uh -huh. oh, all right, that's our five and a half ton, probably. This is how the poor man keeps his overhead low. We're, uh, <laughs> rather than buy new batteries, we just prop them out of something that runs. And you gotta have your jumper cables and shovel if you're gonna go to robbing batteries. This is where we're going with the uh, gravel, and he wants it dumped right there where that propane tank's at, if you can see it. There it is, that's where he wants it dumped. Okay, we got some redneck engineering going on here. I got the jumper cables hooked up, and I'm in the spot where he wants this uh, gravel. Let's see how this works. Before I get too far, let me make sure I got my parking brake on. I like to put the pickup in neutral and the parking brake on because it's easier on my, uh, you know, when you got it in park, you're locked in gear. Because a lot of times when you dump something heavy, it'll try to push you forward. It's easier on your truck to choose the parking brake, I feel like. We ain't got a lot of extra juice, but it's working.
then once you get to a certain spot it goes easy once you've rolled enough weight out the back matter of fact it's even lifting up on my pickup We had a pretty good load in there, I think. That's pretty close to all I got for today, fellas. Um, before we dump this thing and before we go, let's talk about the economics of this deal. Because <laughs> I always find it interesting when guys talk about what kind of money's involved. There's there's not big money in this. Um, I do this every once in a while, but I wasn't planning on it. But a neighbor wanted a load, so I gave him a friendship price because I had to go to the dump anyway, and this was a backhaul. So I said for 75 bucks trucking, I'd bring five ton or so of gravel to my neighbor. Now, and then he went and talked to his buddy and that guy wants two loads. So I'll charge him a hundred bucks a piece uh, for them loads of gravel. So today there's 75, 100, and 100 involved or 275 bucks. I'm gonna burn up at least 30 to darn near 40 bucks worth of diesel fuel and uh, so then we'll be down to about 230, 240 left uh, after that. I put some wear and tear on my tires, that kind of stuff, but it won't be too bad. Uh, the, the gravel itself is costing 35 bucks a ton, or for three loads of five and a half ton, or 16 and a half ton, in other words, it's going to be about 640 or 50 bucks, whatever that math comes to. But I'll pass that on to these customers. These two guys, you know, uh, their share of it, because um, one guy is going to get 11 ton and the other guy will get about five and a half, and then I'll put my truck in on top of it. So there might be 230 or 40 bucks in it today for me for uh, after fuel for hauling some gravel. Um, but it was this guy, these guys' idea. I didn't sell them on this. Now they could have got a tandem axle dump trailer or a tandem axle semi to haul them gravel and it would have been about you know 15 ton a shot but that guy's probably going to charge 150 to 175 bucks trucking but he might be able to get the material a hair cheaper than me but he but these guys would be in at six to seven hundred bucks uh but they'd have more gravel but uh, apparently they didn't want to spend that kind of money and they know i do it and i've hauled them stuff before so uh it was it's their idea and uh, I'll haul them something for to give me something to do and uh, give me some uh, money for camping next week so let's dump this thing here and uh, let me get my parking brake off and I'll see you on the next one guys thanks for watching Well, there it is. That's what five and a half ton looks like. It's not real big, but this guy's got a tractor and he'll uh, spread it out like he likes it. Price of gravel's terrible expensive nowadays. <laughs>